Hey fellow crafters, are you ready for yet another idea to show you how to use up all of those paper bits you have lying around? In today's video, I'm going to show you another way to use up lots of paper strips to create an art deco kind of card. Are you ready to learn how? Hey everyone, I'm Terry and I'm nuts about stamping. I love sharing techniques and project ideas for rubber stamping, scrapbooking, and paper crafting with you each week. Be sure to hit that red subscribe button and the bell beside it so that you are the first to be notified when my next video goes live. Now, let's figure out how to use all of these leftover bits, shall we? This week's video is a little bit different from last week's in that I'm only choosing two color families for today's technique. I have my purples, which are Highland Heather, Gorgeous Grape, and Purple Posy. And then for the greens, I've chosen Mint Macaron, Just Jade, and Pretty Peacock. Regardless of which two color families you decide to use, if you're going to try this technique at home, you want to make sure that each piece of leftover cardstock that you're going to use is at least four inches long. Then very similarly to last week, you're going to bring in your paper cutter, you're going to open up the arm, and you're going to cut some strips of each color. But different from last week, with each color this week, you want to cut three one quarter inch strips. So for each leftover piece, you want three strips of each color. So I will go ahead and do that. Again, each strip is about a quarter inch wide and you want three of each color. So I'll go ahead and I'll finish doing this for all of the colors that I've chosen for today. And then I'll come back and I'll show you the next step in this fun technique. I have my strips all ready for the next step in this process, which is to attach each of these color families to its own layer of Whisper White. So I have my greens that are going to go on this square and I have my purples that are going to be adhered to this rectangle. So let's start off with the square. I have a piece of adhesive sheet that is ready to go. I've cut it to be exactly the same size as my Whisper White square. And I'm going to attach that to the back. And then I'm going to, for this second piece, the rectangular piece that the purple strips are going to be adhered to, I'm going to try and peel off the adhesive sheet cover and attach this, there we go, to the back of the Whisper White. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the purples aside for a second and I'm just going to focus on the greens. And I'm going to bring in my silicone mat. And what I want to do is peel off the other cover so that essentially I have created a sticker sheet. And now I'm going to lay these pieces of green across my square. And the way I'm going to choose to do it is I'm going to start with my lighter color at the top and then do my medium color next. And then I'm going to do my darker color at the bottom. Okay, so I will do that. And then we're going to do something very similar with the purples and its sticker sheet as well. There we go, my greens are adhered to my Whisper White layer. And now I'm going to do the same thing with the purples. And I'm going to use a similar pattern, starting with the lighter at the top, and then moving towards the darker at the bottom. So let me show you what I mean. Again, I'm going to lay these strips across my sticker sheet. 
starting with the lighter, then moving to the medium, and then the dark. There we go, there's my purples done. I had a little bit of an overhang left over, so I just trimmed it on my paper trimmer. Again, this is not an exact science, so don't worry about being too precise. You'll see in a minute what I mean. So I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer and I'm going to trim off the overhang so that I end up with my layer all nice and clean. Okay, like so. Okay, again, it does not have to be perfect because for the next step, what I'm going to do is use my art gallery bundle to help me create this art deco look for the front of my card. So I'm going to put the stamp set aside for a minute and I instead am going to, my next step will be using the floral gallery dies. So I have the flower die and I have the stem die. Do you see where I'm going with this? If not, <laughs> I will continue on and show you. So I'm going to bring in my stamp and cut and emboss machine. And I've got my magnetic platform. I am going to, I wanna make sure you can see this. I'm going to lay the flower die on top of the purple strip layer. Now you can position it any way you want, but I would like to see all colors represented in the strips. And then for my green layer, I have the stem. And I think what I want is I want the lighter color at the top and the darker color at the bottom. And then I'm going to put on the top standard cutting pad and I'm going to run this through my embossing machine. I'm going to put it forward and then I'm gonna come back just so that it does double duty. And look at that. What I think is really neat is that this has a little embossed edge around the flower and also, whoops, it's stuck a little bit, around the stem. So there are my two flower pieces. Now, let's figure out what to do with these to make a really cool Art Deco card. Before I put away my stamp and cut and emboss machine, the next thing I want to do is create a phrase for the front of my card. So I'm going to use the coordinating art gallery stamp set. Just wanted to let you know that right now, I think it's until the end of April, you can get the stamp set and the dies as a bundle and get a 10% discount. Both of these are carrying over to the next annual catalog but in the next catalog, they will be sold separately without the discount. So if you love this bundle and you don't have it in your collection yet, now is the time to purchase it. I'll link to my online store in the description box for this video for those of you that might wanna hop over and order this bundle from me. Now I have the phrase that says best wishes and I have a scrap piece of purple posy and I'm going to use my tuxedo black ink I'm going to ink up the phrase, stamp it down, and then I have one of the dies from the floral gallery dies, and I'm going to die cut this out using my stamp and cut and emboss machine. It's all ready to go. Let's put the plate down. I'll put my phrase down and I will put the die around it. There's a magnetic pull. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead, you know how to die cut by this point in time. I'll go ahead and I'll die cut this phrase out and I'll be back in a moment and we'll continue with the next steps to create this card. There we go, my phrase is die cut and ready to use on the front of my card along with my flower pieces. I have a question for you. 
Think of the paper strip colors that you have lying around at home. What color combinations will you try for this card? Tell me in the comments below. Now, what I'm going to do is I have a layer of basic black and I'm going to adhere it to a layer of gorgeous grape using my multi-purpose liquid glue. So I will just add some glue and stick these two layers together. And that will create a lovely frame for my flower. So the next thing I'm going to do is use my same glue, the multi-purpose liquid glue, and I'm going to put my stem down here. Then I'm going to use Stampin' Dimensionals, and I'm going to use two of them, and I'm going to pop up the flower. I love to get a little lift off the front of my cards, so what better way than to do so with my Stampin' Dimensionals. So I'm going to stick that like that. And then for my phrase, I think what I'll do is I will pop it down in the corner. And again, I'll use my multi-purpose liquid glue. There we go. And I'll tuck that down there like so. Then I decided that my card base is going to be Purple Posy. So I went ahead and I created a base and I could adhere it down like that. But then when I was thinking about this card base, I love the Art Deco flower that sort of stands out from the front of the card, but the base looks a little plain to me. So I have another idea. What if we tried embossing the front of the card instead? And see the difference? There it is embossed and there it is plain. Which one do you like best? Again, if you're interested, leave me a comment and tell me. But I think what I'm going to do for visual interest is I'm going to use the card base that has been boss, embossed. And you know, I think, no, I think I'll do it flat. I was thinking for a moment that I might pop it up using Stampin' Dimensionals, but I think not. I think I will just lay it down flat, center it on my card, front and there we go. It does need to dry for just a little bit. Let's just press it down. Now it's time to think about embellishments and you could add a variety of embellishments. So at this point, I would encourage you to see what you have on hand and what you want to use on the front of your card. Well, I have these playing with patterns resin dots and there's these white resin dots, but they have a touch of purple posy, I think, to them. So what I'm going to do is I am going to add a couple of these little dots as the final touch. I think I'm gonna put that one there for my card. And there we go. We've got a really fun Art Deco style <laughs> card that helps you and me use up lots of leftover paper bits that we have lying around. For a complete listing of the supplies that I used and the measurements for all of the layers, head on over to my blog, www.nutsaboutstamping.com. While you're on my blog, join my mailing list to get insider tips and ideas to take your card making to the next level. I'll leave a link in the description box below so that you can link over to my blog and subscribe to my free newsletters if you want. I send two newsletters a week with a project in each one that you won't see anywhere else. I'm Terry. I am nuts about stamping. I hope you'll try this fun paper strip technique idea today too. Bye for now.